TST, a solutions company. In this video, we're going to go over a couple of options that we have with our replace face with a surface command inside of Visi. This command is under modeling and it's called replace face with a surface. The way this command works is we can select any surface and select another surface and make it replace it to that surface. Now if I wanted to replace this face of this solid to this face of this surface, you can see that it takes on the shape of that surface. Same thing for this area down here. If I go ahead and turn my block control on, that allows me to select multiple surfaces. I pick these two surfaces and I right click and click on this surface to replace that face to that surface. I can also pick this face right here and replace it to the surface as well. You can see it carries on the tangency of that top face right down into that surface, making for really quick options on editing model geometry. Another use that we have for this is a trim steel. Maybe we need to replace the trims on a trim steel. To do this, I can go to my modeling extrude elements command and I'm going to pick elements and I'm going to extrude these elements right here in the Z direction. I'm going to extrude them as a sheet body and I'm going to just drag them down past and up through. It gives me a result something like this. Now what we can do with these is do our replace face with a surface command again. We need to change the trim on a block. We go to modeling, replace face with a surface. I'm going to select the faces inside of this area in the middle here. Right click and I'm going to replace it with that group. You can see instantly the surfaces move to that area. Same thing goes with this side. I want to replace this face to this new trim and my trim change is done. I can delete the other geometry off and I have a block with my new trim. Thanks for watching today.